call the meeting to order of the Golf Commission, June, June 12, 2023. Uh, let the record show that the meeting is being videotaped and will be posted to the city's YouTube account. First item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Are there any changes and modifications? So, the reading, accept them as presented. Second. <coughs> Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Next item. Any old business to discuss? Hearing none. New business. Um, after the last meeting, uh, there was an open meeting, bar complaint filed with the Attorney General's office. I was informed by the city solicitor of the open meeting um, bar complaint. And to rectify that complaint, I immediately contacted the pro shop manager and informed him that the vote on the tournament time change was null and void and to resume with the previous uh, tea times. Next item is the tournament start time changes. With the open meeting, I'm going to the response that the tournament, that, uh, the tournament flag is submitted for that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty much what you told me to do. So if you want to open it up with the uh, with the motion? Well with this the uh, yeah, open up the motion and after that we'll open it up for discussion. Okay. I would like to make a motion that we move tournament starting times for member course members sponsored tournaments to start no later than eight thirty or the first tee time in the schedule after eight thirty. If it's eight thirty three, then it's eight thirty three. Whatever it is. Second. Any further discussion? Do we get public input now or? Okay. I would like to discuss it further. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how how many hours do we Dan do you usually block off the tea times? Um, it depends on <laughs> the tournament size. Sorry about that. Um, it could go anywhere from two to two and a half, probably, uh -huh. um, somewhere around there. So, you know, if I started something quarter of 11, probably went to about 12, 30, quarter of one. Um, so obviously you, you would change that by an hour and a quarter. Uh -huh. um, so you're looking probably at, you know, the block that will be affected. If, if 8.30 went, it would be 8.30 to 10.30. Um, you know, if bigger tournament would go to 11, smaller tournament would shrink down from there. Um, it depends on the tournament size, it really does. Like the, the father son on Sunday's got six, you know, 30 groups in it, so that's gonna be pretty big. But that's already blocked off anyway, so. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, my feeling is that if we revise the tee times, they should really, you know, be for the major tournaments, the men's and ladies club championships, the uh, commissioner's <laughs> cup, and the delay memorial, all the others, I feel that they should probably stay around 11 o'clock. As far as um, changing the times of the tea time, I would probably go from 10 to 10.30 30 to start, or if not, start those major tournaments at 7 o'clock in the morning. That is my input. Yes. Dan, do we have data um, to be able to look back from previous years in the uh, system for tea time goes blocked off for everyone's tournaments? Oh, yeah. Off in the last back. seven years, probably. Uh, when we switch over, sorry not to cut you out, but when we switch over to the new system, are we going to lose that data to be pulled in uh, No, that will still be on the old computer that will shove in the corner. Um, so, yeah, I can go back. It's, it's kind of more manual I you know I just look at, I don't think I have any reporting uh, but it's something I can kind of see and I can run reports too on how many individuals so play, play in tournaments um, you know and obviously that varies based on you know weather Not you know what, what people have stuff going on um, it, it's kind of up and down every year but yeah that stuff is there um, I just want to make sure we have it to, to look well at this point I'm in favor of at least it's changed in some form, whether it's a reduced form uh, that um, was just spoken about or different, just certain tournaments for now. Um, 
but we do need to prepare it for the previous state of the sea. If it doesn't make a difference or not, if it doesn't, then um, there's you know, being back in front of us to decide if we're going to change, change or tweak it again. Um, not something that's still set in stone, we can always change it again. Um, if it's not something that boosts participation um, in those tournaments. Yeah, and I think that's the reason why we're trying to change the deep time is to see if we can increase the participation in these tournaments. According to Dan, too, it's going to affect roughly about 31 days. Um, <coughs> so. Yeah, that's, that's if we took every golf course tournament and moved it. It's about 31 days. If we did just the majors, you're looking at four for the club championships, three for the delay, and a couple for the Commissioner's Cup. So I'd be down to about 10. About 10. Um, Commissioner's Cup, obviously, much more narrow. With the number yeah, of there's guys. not a lot of people that play in that, so, so you know, the other ones are bigger. Traditionally, those deep times were always at nine years ago when they were set. Yeah, when the, when, the, when the matches were scheduled. When the matches were scheduled, they always started. That's yeah. match play, right? And that's just match play. You only have 15 times throws. So. Yeah, it, it wasn't that big, so. Maybe four or five, say, at this point, I would think. Yeah, it's not that big. Yeah. For, for at least the matches, unfortunately. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly why I am making the motion I'm making is I've heard a lot of complaints <laughs> from tournament players and especially new members that are playing tournaments. What's with these late tournament starting times? Every other course I've ever been at starts there. Their member sponsored tournaments at 7.30 or 8 o'clock or 8.30 in the morning. And I, I'm a believer that that should be the case here. And my, as my motion indicates, I'm saying they, and my motion is for 8.30 for any Course member sponsored tournaments, club tournaments, and all that's a different story. Off the right. Yeah. That was a lot of change. Right. right. Any other discussion? All right. I'll open it up for uh, public comments. Uh, please state your name and address your comment. Judy Walker. Yep. I've heard from several ladies um, just over the past couple days when this was brought to their attention. And their input in this is that they won't even pay full membership next year. They will just join senior membership or weekday membership, whatever it's called now. And right there is going to lose money, even if it's only 10 people. That's about $4,000 right there. Mm -hmm. So that's another way to look at it also. Because it's going to be hard for the regular membership mm -hmm. to get tea times with those kind of hours going earlier for the tournaments. And granted, nobody wants to play at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but it is what it is. It's at 6 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants it to be done at 6 a.m. Why not? You play right behind you. That's the only way. Yes, Anna.
there will be no change, so well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not in favor of that. It's 10 o'clock now? Yes. Is it 10 o'clock now? No, I don't, only if it's big enough. Yeah, I, mean, you, you, you know, I usually start around 11, a little before 11, yeah, but if, if they're bigger, even later. you know, it's just, you know, what we've gone off, what I've gone off of is precedence. You know, we don't have a policy that states when golf course tournament, you know, tournaments are supposed to start. One of precedents that I've been dealing with for the last 26 years, ever since I started with Mike. Um, you know, love the guy. More and more I, I deal on this end of it on my own. I, he had a lot of it right. He had a lot of it right, based on where everything was. Yes. Uh, Karen, me, I certainly agree with what Ann and Judy have said, and I like some of the um, suggestions that Ann had for a compromise. One of the questions I have is: Are we looking to implement this for this season? That would be my, my, my okay. motion, if, yes. If that's the case, that really seems to be unfair, as so many members signed on this year with the idea that um, tea times on Saturday and Sunday would be accessible. If we move it back to 8.30, tea times at morning tea times are not going to be accessible. Anybody that tries to get tea time this morning knows how difficult it is. So I'd have a real problem changing you know, policy mid-season. Thanks. Because there's 22 more days or 26 more days this year. Is that oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Any other public comments? Sure. I'll speak. <coughs> For the men, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
those people that play now during the hours that you're saying moving to, that's a lot of golfers. That's four golfers times, I don't know how many you can get in a tee in an hour. That's a lot of money that the golf course will be missing. That's a lot of money that Zoe's on the green is going to be missing. That's a lot of dollars. So it's, I think it's a big budget question for the golf for the, uh, an enhancement. Any other comments? Are you ready to vote? I'm ready. So your motion is to change it to 8.30 for... I know this is to change it to 8.30 for... Course sponsored member only tournaments. Are we, are, are are we, we losing members? Bill and I can we can, we, can, can we spin it on this at all? Yeah. That's up. I don't know if we can or not. Sure. Uh, before you guys get to a vote, I, you know, just to, just numbers wise, uh, we have 165 people right now that have access to a full team sheet, individuals and families. Uh, that accounts for 23.7 percent of our membership. Um, then you know, obviously the seniors and the veterans and stuff like that. But that also accounts for 42% of our membership money. And that, that's, that's, a, that's a big financial risk, I think, at this point. You know, you know I, 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 I'm not arguing one side against the other. Who's on one side, who's on the other. I don't care who's on one side or the other. What I care about is the financial stability of this golf course. Mm -hmm. That's number one for me, probably number one for Bill. Number one, two, and three. Um, point for everybody. I don't think making a policy change like this is going to benefit the golf course financially at all. That's my opinion. I think it has a greater chance to negatively impact the golf course financially by losing numbers. Um, prime time. Paul, Paul sent me a picture this morning, six minutes in to the tee sheet this morning. The tee sheet was booked from 7.30 to 10.30. That's the prime time. And that's with members. Yeah, that's, that's these guys fighting, fighting, fighting for tee time, really. That's yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Because if they don't get lucky and get an open one early, they're, they're panicked. They're, they're scrambling around for something. Uh, I, that, again, my opinion, uh, take it for what it's worth. This, I don't think this policy change, especially in the middle of the season, like Karen mentioned, is financially beneficial to the golf course. I per, you know, personally, I think it has will probably have the adverse effect on it. You know, with memberships. You know, not not. You really can't say much about public because the members have the extra day anyways. You know, the members are going to book up early anyways, which is how we have it set up. Just fine. Um, you know, the public will still book around, but um, you know, you, you take that hour and a half. You know, we're, we're 8.30 to 10.30, you're not only affecting those golfers that book here, 8.30 to 10.30, but they're now moving. And they're going to affect the people before 8.30, and they're going to affect the people after 10.30. So not, we're not only disrupting the 8.30 to 10.30 pod, we're disrupting the entire tee sheet of memberships. But, you know, someone might love to play at 7.30 every morning. You know, we got groups that like to do that, you know, a couple big groups. Now they're not going to be able to get their times either. No. Why, why can't they if it's at 730? Because there'll be there'll be more there'll traffic be for that be time. More people. There'll, be, there'll, be, there'll be more people going for those times. Those times. How you many know? groups are there that early then? You know? Just, yeah. Oh as far as tea times? Well yeah. I mean like I said this morning, seven thirty. No, just for like the seven o'clock hour. Uh, we go nine minutes apart, so yeah. and those get solved. So, yeah, pretty much. Once in a while there's still one kicking around there. Yeah, but, I mean, but what if we went the other extreme with especially this individual tournaments? Especially you know, club championship, it's like Earth. What if we start at 6:20 and try the other extreme? With how would that? Personally, be? I don't. I, I don't care one way or another. One that's. I'm not talking about the member, you know, the the four the four ball ones, yeah. those ones, right. those somewhere else. I don't know where else. But yeah, I um, I don't pers whether personally. They're, I don't. Whether they're, we kick them a little earlier or 8:30 or whatever that may be, just for the the individual ones that um, Mrs. Gillette mentioned that people don't have the anymore if there was a change to those ones. People were playing those ones, want to play in those ones. Um, I, this is my personal preference. I would love to play that early. Um, but I don't know if that would change participation to the worse, the better, or how much that would affect. Those seat times now, now that we're starting to say so much earlier, 
and turn it off before kind of the primer T tends. Right. You know. Well, I, I think just like anything, no matter where that block of tournament T tends is going to be, you're going to have people that'll come. Well, oh, I don't want to play at six twenty. I don't want to play at eight thirty. I don't want to play at ten thirty. Yeah. Most of the complaints I'm getting about, especially the <clears throat> individual ones, are it's so late and it's multiple days. Therefore, I can't swing it to do that many days, that many mm -hmm. in a row to play in this tournament. If it was earlier, and I think most of them lean towards it, yeah, like I'd be, I'd rather be done earlier. And, um, yeah, I, personally, on my standpoint, you guys know that I run the golf shop as well, so a, an increased tournament participation helps my business. Mm -hmm. But I'm not focusing on that over the financial health of the golf course. That's number one. You know, and whether or not we would get a 10% increase or a 10% decrease? I, I don't know. And that's not that big. You know, that's, that's really the... You know. It's longer term than that, though. Um, I feel like there's going to come a point where golf, as we all know, going to turn the other way. And not some people who do enjoy playing these type of things <clears> and don't play are going to go find someone else to spend their money as well. And the same works for everyone that's here and has spoken. Same deal. Um, other side of the board, they, they do the same. Um, is there a way we can somehow find some middle ground where we're able to do it. Um, as Mr. Well said, data would help to get actual data um, versus like a Google survey that <coughs> people are going to fill out. I, I don't know how many people actually, I don't know, I don't really trust the data that comes from that. I'm not saying it's not right. I'm just saying, I don't know if it would be accurate. I don't know that people would be lying on it, but that it would be indicative of what would be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think you would be able to do with any survey that maybe should be. You can try and see what happens. Um, that's, that's very true. Are we losing any members because of the tournament times? It sounds like no. no. But it's like, to not listen to the feedback that Judy sure. just said, basically saying you will lose members because of this decision, there's pros and cons list. And we're hearing that people are going to leave or reduce their membership versus I haven't heard anybody leaving Gardner because they're tired of playing at 10 a.m. So, so from a purely logical standpoint, what are you doing? I don't get it. If, if you're hearing people saying we're going to lose members, and you're not showing me that you've lost any because of the way it's been going, what are you doing? I mean, we're spending $900,000 on this golf course over here. Yeah. And it's going up next year. 30 grand. So, you're telling me we're going to lose 20 grand on Saturdays. Uh, I, I can't work with you there. I don't know what to say. Bizarre. I guess I just have trouble believing that we're going to lose 20 grand <coughs> a Saturday because they have to play at 11 o'clock instead of 9 o'clock. I'm not um, saying they're saying. I, I just, what are they going to do when they're playing every, every, every Saturday and Sunday now? They're going to go someplace else? I, I don't know. I, 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 have, I have a problem. What if, we, uh, what if we table this, this vote, send out a survey to the members, and try to get some feedback? Just try to get some items, some additional feedback. What will happen, and then if if it you know if the feedback is in favor of the change, then we can make the change to an open action. So I do it this year. No, no, no. 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 I, I just was going to ask about the survey itself. Like, what are we going to put in the survey? Who's going to put together the survey? Right. How are we going to administer the survey? Okay. I'm not against doing the survey by any means. No, no. Well, it's got to be something online we can I'm figure out. Yeah, yeah, Google form it. of some sort. We can those, I've never used one. one of those kind of wishy washy. Survey monkey is free. Survey monkey? I was going to say survey monkey. Okay. So, just, you know, put together a bunch of questions to try to get some feedback in the membership. I guess why, the reason why you're doing it is to increase tournament participation. Bottom line, that should be the survey. That's, right. That should be it. Yeah. One question. You guys can participate. We're playing tournaments if the tournaments are played early. That's it. That's, I can think of multiple that's, questions to ask, but yes, that, that is the right project. Right, that's the reason why you want to make a change is you, if that's the reason to right. increase 
term participation, then that should be the survey. Yep. I can't disagree with you there, Pete. I can. <laughs> we need to know if people will leave. You know, if they can't play Saturday yes. and Sunday. Yes, to, to Judy's point, will these people go from full memberships okay. to a more restricted yeah. membership? Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's multiple question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll go back to the Yeah. You good with that, Dave? I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. So let's table this until we get some additional data. I'm not pleased with it, but I'm okay with it. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the uh, golf cart lease bids. Did everybody have a chance to review these? I don't know if anyone here wants to. I'm more than welcome to stay, but I'm sure some of you don't want to. Don't want to stay. I'll see y'all want to leave. Can you continue? You can stay. Until you more than welcome to stay, right? Put in a tournament rental price on that? They did not. That's one thing they did not put in. I didn't see it. I thought I saw it in there. Just under I didn't print those off because I would be Well, you may have saw it on one of the other ones. This one doesn't have it. Okay. So. And Adam, what, what are they charging this year? The 50? The 50 no, he was down to like $35, $37. It's kind of, because this is their. This is the end of their first contract, right? Yes. So they went pretty low to get us. Right. <clears throat> All right, so the next one is the, uh, the club car, which is a CCE golf cart. Once again, it's their basic model. Their price over five years would be $8,066.76. Their service or maintenance contract is uh, $25 per car per year. Do they put in there a second car or no? Second car? Like a, another level up? No. No, they, okay. they just gave us the basic one. Right. The other thing they put in there was those other ones, the, those uh, motorized. Oh, cars. walk behinds or whatever? Yeah. yeah. And then they just kind of explain the, you know, the model, um, different type of suspension and stuff like that, warranties. So they, they also did not give us a car rental okay. or anything to do with a beverage car. And 
then the final one is Easy Go, which is five star. So they gave, uh, let's see, this is their uh, RXV, which is also electronic fuel injected, which they didn't have the last time. Their cost would be 8325 per month. Their service would be uh, $50 per car for the first two years, and then $60 per car for the next three years. However, they, they've also included a, um, a beverage car for free of charge. However, their, their rental fee for a golf cart for extra golf carts is $75 per car, minimum 12, you have to order 12 carts at a time. But they're also going to give us 10 free rentals at no charge. And what, what was that, Jeff? They're going to give us 10, 10 free for, the, for, for rentals. Yeah, the, probably the rain hood. Pardon? It's probably the rain hood. Right. The so, first, that so maybe that's not included in that. So that it looked like that's going to be an extra. May, yeah, maybe it may not be included in that price. And also on the CCE, it did not indicate that they would have a bag club protector either. Um, the New England law uh, indicates that there is one. So. It's just the New England law is the one we're currently dealing with. Currently. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How was that? I guess no complaints. No complaints. I mean, Zero. actually, Randy and I were just talking this morning about them. He thought they were only four years old. I said, no, they're five. This is the fifth year. Are they get pounded. Oh, yeah. they do. I mean, about the last two years, it hasn't rained once. That's a lot uh, of miles. I mean, you guys both have a lot of experience in dealing with these firsthand, but how is the, sounds like you're saying durability of these were at least on par better than others? The, 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 I, like I said, no complaint. The, the durability is great. The service is tremendous. Tremendous. You know, if I have something come, you know, break on Thursday, you know, they come every Friday. Well, if I need them. Yeah. Right. I could call them Thursday morning and they would be there Friday. How does it compare previous years in dealing with delivers? A little better. You know, it was never, it was never, yeah. I mean, they all, they're all looking to bend over backwards yeah. um, to, to get the service done. But, um, Has there been noticeable fuel savings with, with these that we had? Versus I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I thought we tried to track it the first year, but then fuel prices got so wacky, they was up, they were down, they were up, they were down. And okay. Do you feel like your consumption has gone up or down? Or it's, it's, again, it's hard to say because the last two summers, we have sent those carts out every single day. And that's the strangest part about the budget the last two years. It's like we've lost, we've lost, I think, literally maybe one day this entire season from rain. Four years ago, right? Every single day. It's completely different numbers, completely different consumption. We were going like three weeks without gassing up cars. Now I go a week and a half. So, yeah, it's such a three or weeks for your rain one day. It's hard to say. But the, the fuel injection has to. I mean, the guy said the numbers in the beginning. They're all, they're all fuel injections. Now. Yeah. I think, I know, the, I know the price stuff has been all over the map, but I was just wondering if the consumption was, was trending upward or downward. Significantly better than the non-fuel injected, but if they're all fuel injected now, I've got to think they're all in the same ballpark. Okay. And of course, uh, Yamaha gives us a schedule in the back with mm -hmm. you know, fuel consumption. Yes, so, yes. So. And it compares it to the easy go and the clock. I thought those easy go were junk. I'm, I can ask my mechanic, but I that wasn't a huge. I thought those things were falling apart all the time. I mean, like I year one, year three, year no, three, and four, year three, four, five was tough on those. Yeah. But these yeah. now have good, good recollections of the easy go. Same here. Yeah. We went club car with easy go Yamaha. Yeah. Yeah. Club yeah. car yeah. with the park. One of the yeah. parts. Club well, car was a red one. Yeah. It was a so gas pedal sleeve or something. Every one and the trim. I remember the trim fell off in like year two. The easy go for some reason. I can ask them again, but. I thought I remember them just being. Yeah, they, they struggled to get yeah, through five years. And we went from them after club car because club car was so much. Right. I remember I remember the 
so now the club cat's coming in pretty close. Well, well really, she's well, like, I think it, it sounds like it's down to two, <laughs> based on her very quick recollection. Especially at $75 for a rental. I mean, 10 freeze nights, but well, over five years. I think we can talk about how we can, you know, find out about the beverage cart and find out what right. Yeah, he, he mentioned the beverage cart off, off this, and he just said, you know, last five years have been free. I might have to get knock you for a nominal fee this year. And see. I don't know if he means keeping that one there or flipping it out, though. Because right. um, mm. that obviously has got mileage and beat and wear and tear on that, too. Right. For, um, but you bought things. I, I personally like, I really like everything about the other yeah. Everybody raved about that car when it came in because it was so much quieter, uh, okay. noticeably quieter, noticeably smoother. Uh, even driving around the hills, and obviously now four or five years later, you're not going to get the same ride, but... Just, they still... No, but they're the, nice. The fifth year on them and being kept outside all winter, and Kinda. the, the seats and Kinda. so on have held up very well. The last two years, this has been... I, mean, I, I think those yeah. things have held up pretty well. For Absolutely. Them, so. And of course, they're getting more used to Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, this yeah. those, those carts are COVID carts. Yeah, that's true. I mean, wear and tear, all the cleaning we did on them. Uh, and, and, and the massive amount of people like yep. If you bring in extra carts, do you go with the same contractor? Yes. Yeah, so Yamaha, when I need you know, carts, I go to Yamaha. Uh, I've never run into an issue where I've had to call other. I could, if Yamaha, I mean, ever was, they've never been out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's never been a problem. Hey, I need 20 for this day. I've got them all light, laid out for the year. Uh, to the point where I just reduce, uh, but they've never, I've never had a problem. The price would change if we had, if, if we had Yamaha and we got to call Easy Go and say, <laughs> and you call us out, they say absolutely we'll help you out. Yeah, there'd be yeah, a hundred cars. Eight hundred a car. Right, right. Because yeah. they know they're not going to be clean or full of gas. So. <laughs> and just for my own benefit, um, do we have to carry the insurance on these or does the oh, yeah. company? Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. That's five of the indirect costs. That's one of the indirect costs. I see. Okay, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's one of the reasons why the indirect cost is going up. Right. I think insurance is one of the because right. everybody's insurance is going up. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. we set the vote at this point on which car do you want to get more information? Or just you know, we have been having a meeting of twenty six, don't you? When do we have to have an answer for them? So that's soon. Okay. Like the 26th? We'll get Those hard numbers? Like how come we're saving them? Oh, to change to try to get them to move? I don't know. Yeah, obviously we've got to find out the turnover rental prices. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that you know, you know, the maintenance, the maintenance differences, that's small over the course. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nothing. That's nothing. Um, and then yeah. 75 dollars a cart looks shocking, but I only bring in carts four or five times a year. I don't, you know, over. Uh, yeah, that's be, easy. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I don't think the other two will be that high. Yeah, probably fifty. Yeah, maybe. And they'll have, they'll have the same at twelve, whatever it is. Yeah. No, the time. I would say it's good to keep questions answered. <coughs> First, right. I'm towards the yeah. Yamaha, thinking with yeah. what, we, what we're going with, but currently, uh, but we have a little wiggle room. Yeah, average car and return the price. And maybe see what the other two would go up to if we had the, you know, the club covers mm -hmm. on right. there as well. Sure, sure it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that. I don't know if that means something else, but I think yeah. it must be what it means. I would think so. Yeah. Right. An additional, yeah. yeah I'm saying additional. That. You get the USD. The additional is. Yeah. Alright, so let's table the vote to the next meeting. I'll get some more information. Uh, next item is an update. Dan? I really don't have a lot. Okay. Uh, next week, week and a half, I'm going to flip the system over. Uh, I've, got all, I've got all the hardware. Uh, we get some training to do on our own pace. Uh, so we can try to, you know, we may be a little slower inside than we are, you know, doing a transaction to kind of get the, get the speed up, but. Uh, but yeah, that'll be the next couple of weeks, and, and away we go. But that's about it. Right. Bill? I have no update. I'm good. No update. Uh, the only correspondence was we got a request for a donation from the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, 
I, th I think you had mentioned if you wanted to change it up. Yeah, typically we just give a foursome of golf carts. I mean, I don't know if we want to give something different, whether you want to do a gift card, you want to do, yeah, I think it's a, the foursome of golf carts is easy. Um, they've never really complained about it. Like, I move, move to give them the foursome of yeah. carts. Okay. I second. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 distance away and could have made the other opposite call obviously. Okay. You know, it's kind of, uh, kind of took, took, my, took a crack at it. And, my position on these is sign up for a golf tournament, yeah. playing golf. Yeah. I know, oh, nice, yeah, exactly. disagreeing sentiments on that, but um, there's where some people guessed and came and were like, what is this? Right. What, no, why no, are you having member guests and no. you're canceling it before when you, when you can still use your tea time? It, it doesn't make any sense to them. No, out of town either. Like I said, very um, well could have done the incorrect call on that one. So. I, I know you're trying to do your best, but I sometimes think we're a little too wary on uh, kind of tournaments short, especially the major tournaments where people, we don't get people individual signing up for it already, and we've had tournaments cut short uh, and you use your tea time, which I 100% don't think is right. Okay. That's all. <laughs> The only question I had, Bill, is uh, uh, number seven. Is there any way we can get some grass to grow in some of those sections at some point? We're trying. Okay. We did that whole plug thing after we aired it. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Okay. But yeah, we can try to get some a little bit more. Yeah. People have been asking about that thing. Gotcha. So, so. <coughs> All right, let's review financials. <coughs> uh, so revenue as of this is through right, so this is through five nineteen. Um, no, I'm sorry. This is through five twenty three. So we have a we have a million thirty six thousand dollars already in revenue. Um, you said we had about what forty one thousand last week? Yeah, just short of forty two. That was not in there yet. There's two of them that are not. Yeah, I didn't give you last week. The, the okay. two of them that you gave me, they have the so, process. So that's three there. Just two weeks missing. Yeah, yeah. No, I haven't done that. Okay. Right. Right. So there's actually, there's actually three weeks of revenue that are not on there. Three weeks? I gave her two last week, and I have not done no, I gave her two weeks last week. Correct? Okay. Right? Yes. The big packets, and I have not given them this previous week today yet. Okay. It'll be done tomorrow. So it's actually three weeks of revenue not in there. Ballpark. How much? Hundred grand. I was going to say. Probably, probably, I, mean, I gave. I I sent them the number. We're probably looking at forty, forty-two. How much? Probably close like a million one hundred thousand. Probably. Yeah. 
probably 40, 42, and whatever we did last week, which is probably a little less. I'm going to guess maybe 30, 33. Oh, oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah, somewhere else. It's, it's, it's over 1.1 then. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. we get three weeks left, right? Under expenses, uh, right now we have total expenses of uh, 895647 um, I believe this is through the week, probably the week before last, because I know we paid for the new um, the new piece of equipment, but, but it's still on here, so he hasn't posted that. According to this, we're going to bring $86,000 in revenue, um, $895,000, say $896,000 of expenses. So right now we're roughly you know, about a couple hundred thousand dollars in the, in the, in the, in the black. So going forward, that's going to be good. I can't see this lasting forever. So, any questions on financials? Hearing none, we have a motion to accept them. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 So we set the next meeting as of 26th of June at 4th. Need a motion to adjourn. Can I just ask a question first? Yeah. Who's, who owns the responsibility of, of creating and getting the survey out to the membership relative to the starting time thing? Um, we'll put it together. Probably myself and Christine. And, 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 uh, okay. Well, somebody's, somebody's well, we're going to write about you guys before we actually post it, just to be sure. Okay. The questions and stuff. Okay. I guess we discussed them. The two main questions are yeah. right. participate more in. Would you a you know, leave change reduce your change membership, etc. for changes? Right. Possibly comments section two if they want. Right. The narrative of right. exactly what they're saying, why they would do it. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, bye. Aye. 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 Aye.